bad news for you. Tension was high in Male village in Tingithi in Laikipia County after a 49-year-old woman was brutally murdered by her younger brother. It is believed that the deceased Rebecca Mudoni was hit with a hammer on the head following a quarrel over 2,000 Kenyan shillings government cash transfer program meant for the upkeep of their ailing mother. Tigidi location chief Wilson Duo confirmed the incident, saying that the suspect Joseph Gitahi later surrendered to Mantanya police station awaiting court charges. This story was produced by Hussein Mohammed. At Tigidi location in Laikipia County, residents were left in shock following the brutal murder of a 49-year-old woman by her younger brother. The deceased Rebecca Muthoni was hit with a hammer on the head following a quarrel over 2,000 shillings meant for the upkeep of their ailing mother. The 2,000 shillings was a monthly pay for the elderly under the Inua Jami program. Tikithi location chief Wilson Thuo confirmed the incident saying that the suspect 45 years old Joseph Getahi later surrendered to the Matanya police station where he was locked up awaiting court appearance to face murder charges. Akazirika, alinyambia, huu atamuwa, atamu, 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 atamu viga akuve. Nikamubia washano na hii. Akazema, akamuchika, hii kichwa, hii, 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 the deceased mother Mary Waheto says she watched desperately as his own son threatened to kill his sister and later executed the threat when he rushed for a hammer and hit her on the head. <laughs> Lakini, <laughs> Local residents described the assailant as a troublemaker in the village who is addicted to alcohol and narcotics, at the same time condemning the incident which they attributed to rampant drug and substance abuse in the area and called on the government to intervene. Na hapo nani ketoga alikuwa nataka ni alifu polisi, sababu huyu kijana wakati wakifanya hiyo kitendo alitoka akielekea polisi matanya siku na simu ya askari nikakapigia assistant chief akapigia polisi na huyo jamaa alikuwa amejifikisha huko akanaswa na kuwekwa ndani so yeye alijipeleka the suspect was on Monday arraigned before an Anyuki court but did not plead to murder charges after DCI officers asked for more time to enable for a post-mortem and mental assessment.